All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, my regular viewers, listeners, and watchers. And of course, if you happen to be here for the very first time, welcome. Before I go any further, my name is Rahul George, India's premier self-hypnosis coach and your personal guide. So today's pod is uh, again another one of those moments uh, which I believe will help you on your journey especially as a digital coach. So as the title of the pod suggests, you know, we are talking about the many uh, opportunities that live and are being created, especially if you're looking at entrepreneurship. So what do I mean by that? So here's the, the simple version of what I've, um, you know, the, the pod that inspired me today. Uh, one is, of course, I was you know, meeting um, a couple of, let's put it this way, I was meeting people who were, let's say, in their late 20s today. And uh, it was interesting to hear their perspective on being employed and, of course, their perspective on entrepreneurship. And that kind of uh, stuck with me. And as I was getting ready for this uh, pod today, it just got me thinking for a second, right, especially when I'm talking to digital coaches uh, and I'm talking about digital coaches. Now, obviously, having been a digital coach now for a couple of years, uh, let's say post-COVID, like 2019, 20, I mean, technically for me, the journey began in 2019. But let's say the last maybe four or five years and, of course, the journey before that uh, on the way to becoming a digital, in fact, on the way to becoming a coach, uh, when I look back at the entire journey, there's one thing that definitely stands out. Um, one is, of course, that there is no, uh, there's no fixed definition of entrepreneurship. Some of us, uh, maybe we operate from passion and we kind of choose just one thing that we want to do and we want to dedicate our life and our lives to, you know, building that thing so which means obviously we are ensuring that we are, you know, improving in our ability to be able to deliver, whether it's in the area of health or wealth or even relationships, uh, which means when we're working with people, our intention is to get so good at it that people just can't help but, you know, take notice of us, um, talk about us, and of course, ultimately refer us to others uh, because of their experience with us. So that's, of course, the you know the best case scenario. But one thing I can tell you, and this is something that uh, in just before the pod as I was getting ready, one thing that came to me, which I had said upon uh, towards the end of last year, uh, I said, you know, this year, unlike in the past, this year, I want to be able to create three streams of income. Now, I'll come to this in a second. What do I mean by that in the context, especially of us being digital coaches. So typically, you know, when we are on this journey to becoming digital coaches, we tend to, uh, you know, put our blinders on and we just focus on this one thing, right? We focus on maybe one funnel. We focus on maybe trying different ways in which or in order to be able to get the right kind of people, people who will, you know, connect with us, people who will benefit from us. And of course, ultimately, people who will uh, buy who will, you know, value what we have to give them in a way that it feels like, you know, we truly uh, are being valued for what we're creating in their lives. Now, obviously, uh, you know, there are no straight lines here, meaning there is no uh, fixed path. You will have the journey that you have. You will, you know, find a path that you will eventually. But obviously, until you do, it can be pretty frustrating. And a lot of times, it's like, you know, the expression of putting all your eggs in one basket. A lot of times as digital coaches, and I've seen this uh, in, you know, the lives of other coaches. And I've also seen this in my own life, right? A lot of times, we tend to rely only on one funnel, or we tend to rely only on one source of revenue. So as, like I said, you know, the, the connection to this um, realization today was, you know, listening to uh, 
let's call it maybe a younger generation. Let's call it people today who are, you know, in their mid to late uh, 20s, maybe very early 30s who are seeing the world differently. So even if it means, you know, that they're looking for a job, they are open to the idea of, you know, exploring and, and having multiple streams of revenue. Obviously, COVID taught a lot of people that they could, you know, do uh, parallel, um, you know, they could have uh, side hustles and multiple side hustles. Uh, I, I won't get into the 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 legality of it or the um, you know the 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 morality of it, but one one thing I'll tell you is that it you know definitely for all of us who made it to this side of the pandemic, it has definitely taught us a lot about um, our own self worth. It has taught us a lot about uh, what we believed was. Uh, real, what we believed was possible, and also that there is a lot more that we can discover along the way. So let me say this in short. You know, if you, especially as a digital coach, if you have only been so far thinking about just creating one stream of revenue and making sure that this one stream of revenue becomes your, you know, your million dollar funnel or your, you know, your one crore or your one crore plus funnel, one thing I know that I can tell you is that um, that puts a lot of pressure on you. That puts a lot of pressure on the marketing that you're doing. That puts a lot of pressure on the selling that you're doing. And like I said, for me, this is the year where I have decided that, you know, over the course of this year, I am going to create three new streams of revenue. Now, if you ask me, what do I know? You know, do I know exactly what they are and how it's going to work out? Honest answer is I don't. But what's important is I have decided that this is the year that it all comes together. So, you know, follow along, of course, if you want to see how I I myself discover these multiple streams of revenue and, you know, how that helps me as well on the journey. Like I shared with you before, and I'll say it again, I'm primarily talking about my own experiences and of course, you know, reflecting on the experiences that others have had and what they share with me as digital coaches on their own journeys. So, you know, especially if you're a digital coach and you're, you find yourself struggling, you find yourself, you know, having a, let's call it a bad run of luck, if, you, if that's how you want to look at it, uh, definitely reach out and let me know because my intention is, and that's why, like I said, I make it a point to show up every day and do this live just to remind you that, you know, you're not alone, right? And sometimes just knowing that there's somebody out there who can listen to you uh, without any judgment, uh, who will, you know, create that space and hold that space for you while you're able to find yourself again. Uh, just reach out and let me know. And of course, as always, remember to live with purpose. So look forward to seeing you in the next pod. A lot of new and exciting um additions that are coming along the way. We're going to be doing several more of our uh, weekly uh, podcasts, interviews with some amazing coaches who are on their journey. And of course, you know, especially if you are interested in hypnosis and NLP, you will hear a lot more references of this in their lives, in my life as well. So I look forward to seeing you in that. Um, God bless and I will see you soon.